Hello, Western Kentucky faithful. This is Jack Johnson here, and I'm reporting with a huge coaching change from the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. And Coach Don Slugger, coming all the way from the Great White North in Canada from Catholic Central High School, he is going to be coming down to coach the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers this year in a major coaching change. The Hilltoppers don't exactly have the greatest program around, but um, he's going to try and build them into a contender. He's going to do his best. He's bringing his offense all the way from the Great White North. Hopefully it can work in the NCAA. And he knows he knows that it's going to be a tough challenge. He knows that it's going to be tough recruiting kids in this. Uh, he knows that it's going to be tough recruiting kids to go to Western Kentucky as they aren't the greatest school. And they don't exactly play in the greatest conference in the Sun Belt. But the future's looking bright with this guy. He's a great football mind. I had a chance to talk with him two days after he... Uh, after he shipped in all the way from Canada, and he was he was excited. He it was it's his first NCAA coaching job, recruiting for the first time ever. He's really looking forward to seeing how big the NCAA actually is. And with that being said, Western Kentucky doesn't exactly have the most talented roster here. All right, so as you can see, the team needs are uh, they're pretty big. We need a quarterback because uh, we have a senior quarterback that's graduating right now. And on the offensive side of the ball, he just wants to collect talent. He wants to collect young talent at the offensive and de on the offensive and defensive lines because he believes in building a program from the lines out. And on defense, he needs some. He, you need to recruit some defensive ends as we have five seniors on the defensive end position that are graduating. And we also need to recruit some middle linebackers for this year as we also have a senior that is graduating, Andrew Jackson, the leader of the defense. And um, just overall, like I said, he wants to collect talent. He... Uh, he really wants to get, he just wants to improve this Western Kentucky roster. And Western Kentucky doesn't exactly have the most amount of pipelines, but they are pretty decent. We have Florida, Georgia, Kentucky as our pipelines right now, but we may lose our pipelines to Tennessee and Indiana next year. So hopefully, hopefully Coach Don Slugger can uh, can reignite those pipelines and keep, keep uh, Western Kentucky recruits going strong. And as we take a look at recruiting here, we know that Don Slugger really wants to build the offensive and defensive lines, but he does know that he wants to recruit the defensive end position. He knows that you have to get to the quarterback. He also knows that that's their biggest position to need this offseason, is that they also have five graduating defensive ends this year. And he's also going to recruit any... He's also recruiting kids that not necessarily every other school wants because he wants to make sure that he builds this program from the from the ground up and he wants to make sure that he builds this program the way that he wants to. He's not necessarily high on JUCO players, but he will take a JUCO player now and again. And of course, as soon as he got here, he said he was going to go back to Canada and look at some of the tapes that he played against other players and coached against other players in high school. And that goes for Lamar Goins, the outside linebacker from Peterborough. He coached him, coached against him in the Officer Championship game, and he knows that this kid's a talent. So it's a really long shot to get him in Western Kentucky, but he's definitely going to try and do that anyways. All right, and he's going to go, he's definitely going to look at the quarterback position. He wants to take a quarterback in this recruiting trail. He wants to groom him, wants to build him for four years, make sure that he's an example that other quarterbacks have to follow on, this is how you run my offense. This is how you do everything in the offense. This is how you become a leader. This is what you do in every single situation. He wants a kid who's going to run Western Kentucky Hilltopper blood through and through and who he wants to lead the team for the next four to four years. And definitely, he's going to definitely use those pipelines that he's got. He necessarily didn't even get to recruit when he was in high school, when he was coaching high school at Catholic Central, but he's definitely going to take advantage of using those pipelines here. All right, so like I've said before, he's definitely going to go after defensive ends in this recruiting trail. He loves long, lanky, fast defensive ends. He knows that you have to get at the passer and that. If you have pass rushing defensive ends, it's going to be able to make it a lot easier on your defensive secondary to A, get interceptions, B, break up passes, and C, actually cover the receivers and not put as much stress on them to cover them for a long amount of time. It's going to be it's going to be interesting what kind of defensive end Slugger brings in because he already said he's going to take four defensive ends. So that means if he's trying to recruit ten defensive ends, you know that six of them are not going to be on the roster next year. He's going to go after the best defensive ends that he can find in the area and in their pipelines and who are interested. He's going to do his best job in recruiting, but
but all we know is that he is definitely going to take at least four defensive ends. He wants to make sure that he gets defensive ends who can have make a huge contribution right away onto the defense. And even it's go definitely going to help in the run game too. Because if you have these long lanky defensive ends, they can extend the arm, they can get pressure onto the tackle, put them onto their heels, and help the linebackers read and react to that running game. So in that press conference he did have a couple days ago, he did state that he wanted middle linebackers. He wants tall and fast middle linebackers because that's what he had when he was coaching in high school. He had tall and fast middle linebackers who could cover a lot of ground in a short amount of time. Which is awesome because it also gives the quarterback less to look at and it also gives the quarterback want to get the ball out of his hands faster just so that it makes the defense. And two years our backup middle linebacker and our starting middle linebacker will be graduated. So he's definitely going to groom one, groom one of these middle linebackers in this recruiting class for one year and then hopefully expect him to start and hopefully take over the defense after that one season. He's also looking for a tall middle linebacker. He's looking for a guy who he said who can run and cover and also lay the boom, which means to me that means big body and who's fast. He's also looking for guys who can just help improve and who are athletes. He's going to be looking at guys like that for the entire season and he does have... He has finalized his list down to 19 to 20 recruits. He's not 100% sure who he's keeping on this list. He's not 100% sure if all the players who are on it right now are going to stay on it for the entire year. And even if there are going to be some additions onto the recruiting trail. But he does know that he's going to scout the 19 to 20 players that he has right now and go with that. And then if anything else happens, then that's what's going to happen and he's going to react to it when it comes. He's going to recruit these 19 players and hopefully give them all scholarships to Western Kentucky and hopefully they'll all be in Western Kentucky Hilltopper uniform next year. But like I said, he's going to take four defensive ends, which means that six defensive ends are not going to be getting scholarships. He's going to take the best of the best in this recruiting trail. They might not be the best players overall, but they're going to be the best fits for Western Kentucky. And he's even going to be starting to scout them as, as we speak right now. He's probably scouting them right now, sitting in his office with the film board and writing down everything about these players that he wants to know. They're 40 times bench press, 20-yard shuttle, all of these right now. As he's getting prepared for the first game of the season against Auburn, which he decided to change from a Division II opponent to Auburn because he wants to set the tone right away saying, we can play with the best conference, we can play with the best players in the nation, and he wants to know... And he wants to know what he's got. He does. He wants to know whether or not Keyshawn Simpson, the running back, can play 90% of a game. Or has, does he have to split carries between John Cruz and Keyshawn Simpson? Does he have to rotate the wide receivers? Does he have to sub in offensive and defensive linemen? Does, like, pretty much what does he have to do to be successful at Western Kentucky? And just taking a quick look at the schedule here. Coach Slugger did switch our first week game from a Division II team to Auburn because he wants to make sure that Western Kentucky can play with the best. Just as we look at the roster here, we have Kawan Jakes, senior redshirt quarterback, 6'3", 189 pounds. He is a very talented quarterback for Western Kentucky, and I would not be surprised to see him be the focal point of the offense, as well as Keyshawn Simpson, the starting running back for now. He's six foot, 236 pounds. He is a power back, but we also have Jonathan Evans, a sophomore running back, who is our speed back, kind of. He's a change of pace back. I could see him and Keyshawn Simpson splitting carries in this offense. Coach Slugger does want to utilize players that do have a wide variety of assets that they can bring to the offense. He does love speed, but he also loves to switch it up and use power as well. He wants to get everybody in the biggest opportunity and their best opportunity to get us scoring points and moving the ball down the field. But this is the problem with Coach Slugger's offense is that he doesn't use a lot of receivers and we are loaded at receiver. So the only issue that there could be here is what players are actually going to get on the field and which ones are going to be red shirted because he is definitely going to be using some red shirts this year like on tight ends like jm murphy and he is just going to let them grow for one year let them get stronger so that instead of wasting a year of their eligibility sitting behind guys who are seniors Give them that opportunity to grow and give them that opportunity to work out in the offseason and give them the best chance to start the year after. And as we look at the defense here, we have left outside linebacker Xavius Boyd 
and we have middle linebacker Andrew Jackson, the leader of the defense. He will be the focal point of this defense. He will be calling the plays. He'll be running. He'll be switching out audibles onto the defense. He's already caught Coach Slugger's eye in preseason drills, and he has said that Jackson will be the leader of this defense, bar none. And we do have a young sophomore right outside linebacker, Teron Williams, and he will also be grooming behind Jackson for that leadership role in the defense. And in our defensive backfield, we have two junior corners starting in Robinson and Wright. But really, the focal point of this defensive backfield is free safety Jonathan Dowling. He is a talent, a sophomore red shirt. He will also be making sure that this defensive backfield is in ship shape. And now that we're looking at our kicker and our punter here, Coach Slugger does like the fact that we do have two talented kickers. And as in saying that we have one kicker and one punter, we he does like seeing that they can make a difference on the special teams. And after all that, Hilltopper Faithful, my name is Jack Johnson, and I will be signing out. And we'll see you all week one against Auburn.